Hello everyone, here is the cheapest boat on the internet. This Shetland Family 4 cost me only £1,500. If you search it up online, River Cruisers, this is the cheapest one by far. I bought it with the aim to restore it and sell it on to a new owner. But, as you probably guessed, this boat needs some work. In the last two videos, we got the cabin completely stripped out back to the bare fiberglass. And where we left it last time, we are getting there with the carpeting. Here's a new carpet we ordered. Just enough to do it all with a bit of spare. I think we can safely say the electrics on this boat are a bit all over the place. We've got cables dropped down, not wired in. That all needs checking. Got an electrician coming to have a look at all that. And then we've got obviously got these lights which go right there and they need wiring in at some point. Coming along, got the piece to cut along there piece to cut along there that's obviously a board that's another board and that piece to cut and the flooring to be laid sort this table out as well um this is a, i sand this down maybe give it a coat of paint maybe leave it depends how it sands get the carpet cut all around that and get the pole to go in it which also fits in there which will make nice tables Right, well, the seating pieces um, I wrapped in the carpet and the, I just screwed them together at that end, put the table in so I know where to, I've got to fix it down. Um, we've got that piece in, still needs finishing with the screws. I've got these pieces, they're, they're, they're both wrapped to go up. Um, they just need screwing up, but I've got to run a piece around that hatch which I'm going to do now. I've got another piece coming for that window, which should arrive soon, but it's delayed because of the bank holiday weekend. Um, we've got the cable running down there for the lights. Going to get some new screws because them ones are rusty and old, just to get an idea. But you can roughly see what it's going to look like in there now. I will see you tomorrow, and hopefully we can get some more done and get this somewhat close in here. I've just given all that, all them a first coat with that white um, satin wood exterior paint. Um, they're the two lights and they're the two boards. They're ready for another coat in the morning and then we can get them fitted back to the boat tomorrow, hopefully. Well, today is Saturday the 29th of April and day six of this renovation. And we are going back down there. It is currently about 10.30. I'm just going to get Charlie. So I've got a bit of help today. Uh, Jack's also going to meet us down there and sort out the electrics as well. Because um, we found a speaker system on there, which I'll show you now, which actually works really well. And it's Bluetooth and everything. So we're not actually going to keep that on that boat we're gonna put that on my boat got some white exterior um, satin wood paint and I'm just gonna paint these boxes with a first coat and see how they come up and um, obviously they're gonna need more than one coat but just as a start really as you can see the roof panels are in um, they were a ball lake so now there's only that window to do Right, back on the boat. Today is day seven, so it's Sunday, the 30th. Um, and here is the progress so far. So we've got all the carpeting done, it's the light things in. Um, we've got them two boards out there to go up. Uh, just got to have a look at the nav lights. I'm just about to start laying these carpet tiles. So I'm gonna work out the center and start laying from the door to there just spraying them with the flooring spray adhesive both sides on on the tile that is and on the actual floor um and then obviously running them center um and then i'll cut out for that hole and then this piece will go in and that'll be for our table um which i've got to get pole for So what I've done there is I've marked my centre line, um, which is what I will work off, and then I've marked 
halfway on the tile, which is there. These tiles are 50 centimetres, so um, 25 centimetres in on both sides. They also, to note if anyone is laying these, they have an arrow on them. So on, you just want to make sure the arrow goes the same way. Um, so what I've done is I've marked it so that the, it's all flowing towards the door. Um, and then if I make sure they all go like that, it will look right. Otherwise, if I get the, if I get another carpenter, mate, the other way, you can see they don't line up. You see that one's going that way, that one's going that way. Um, so yeah, I can start laying now, working my way away from the door. Obviously, I've got a big couple cuts, um, and then I've got these bits to fill in. Right, so as you can see, I've got all that in, that pedestal stand is in. Um, but obviously it's got to be screwed in and that will even it out a bit. Um, I've denailed all of this fiberglass because the carpet that they had up, they'd nailed up. Um, so now I'm going to run a piece from here to there and all the way up and wrap around there. And then I'll put a bit of trim on there if it needs it. Um, and then obviously I've got the same on that side and then I've got a little cut there and there. Right, so I've got them pieces cut and they look good and when they're in properly uh, and actually glued down they'll be perfect with a bit of trim maybe if needed. Um, I've got this bit cut to size here, it's going to go in the middle probably and then have two cuts on either side um, or I'll go one way. But what I wanted to show you is I've put stress, what I call stress relief marks on this. I don't know if this is the proper way to do it but if any of you guys are doing it at home um, all I've done is I've marked out on where my edge is going to be. So like here, I've cut it too big, so I want it to bend around that. Um, so what I've done is I've marked out where the actual edge, the bend is going to be in it, which is there to there. And then every 5mm I've put a stress, what I call a stress relief mark. I haven't gone all the way through with the blade. Um, and then what you can do is you can bend this about... And it actually gives it a bit more durability and makes it a bit easier to get around them bends. Um, so just a bit of advice if anyone is doing this. As you can see, look, it bends that way. And it also does bend the other way, which is what I need for now. Um, but if you're doing it the other way, uh, you can see here, that's sat in there. The joint is actually about here. Um, yeah. And there's you haven't got to butt it up like I've got to do here. Um, and that actually obviously looks better. So yeah, if anyone is doing it, just a bit of advice. Well, I think we can safely say, I don't think you'd know these were carpet tiles. And if you if you did, uh, you wouldn't know where the edges were. But this is all glued in now. And if I come and take another angle. Doesn't look too bad. Always finishes it off very nicely. Obviously, I've still got that window. A bit more painting. There's still a bit to do in the cabin, but not massive amounts. More sorting out the electrics and wiring stuff back in. Um, but as I say, this pedestal goes in there doesn't sit 100% flat, um, I can get a flat one, but to be honest, for the sake of 5mm on either side, once it's screwed down, I don't know if it's even worth it, but I'll have a look into that, but yeah, definitely looks a hell of a lot better in there. So yeah, as I say, the next job on my list is the uh, navigation lights and checking all the electrics work before I put that board back up. You can see they're quite a mess and yeah, we need to get them sorted before we put the board back up, otherwise it will just end up coming back down. So I'm going to check all the electrics, make sure I can get that navigation light working. Maybe I'll have to rewire it or something. 
um, but work it out. Normally it's just something dodgy, a dodgy connection or something. So we'll have a look at all that and then we can get the boards back on. So what I'm going to do before I actually look at the electrics is I'm going to go to the tip and get rid of all the rubbish that we've had from the whole project because it's starting to build up and get in the way, if I'm honest. On such a small boat like this, you've got to keep it tidy, otherwise it's just chaos. So I'm going to go to the tip, get rid of the rubbish, and then I'll be back, and then we'll look at the electrics, and it might have even got a bit cloudier, so it'll be easier to see the navigation lights. Yeah, let's get to the tip before that shuts, and get rid of all this rubbish. Right, so I'm back. I've done the tip run, and that's all cleared out now, so that saves, makes a lot more space on here. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the board for the electric so I'm going to take that down which I've just put up as a temporary and I'm going to have a look at the electrics get make sure they're all working so it was in fact the green light navigation light that wasn't working and I've switched them on at the panel which you can see just here and as I was taking the green one off the bulb wasn't connected um, but the bulb looks all good in there so should be a case of putting it back together with the bulb in it and that's how lights work hopefully so i'll let you know how it goes when i stop dropping it right, so if i just put that in there gotta put it in there got one side in one second i'll be back there you go bulbs working now just gotta put the light back together So that's the navigation lights working, which are under nav lights. So we can turn them off because we know that's working. Then the next one is the horn. So there's a few buttons on the dashboard here. I don't know what that does. Try this one. Yep, the horn works. So we can turn that off. And instruments, I'm guessing, because there's some holes up here. I guess in there it was used as a had a hate a VHF or fish finder of some sort. We've got water system which we haven't got working at the minute, um, and deck light, which is you got a little up there by the hatch. as a little um, on the Shetlands they have a little old light connection thing. So yeah, we're not using that in a minute. But and that one was for the stereo which we took off and put on mine. So yeah, that electrically should be all good right now. I'm not gonna to touch any of them cables because I don't fancy dying. Um, not dying, you know what I mean. But yeah, then we can put this all back together. I've got to wrap a little piece at the core, at the top, um, just where this board doesn't cover, as you can see up there. And then do that same on that side and then they, they can go back up and all good. So let's get cracking. Right, so there's only one electric um, switch that I didn't check and that was the water system. Um, I've just looked under here and it looks like that the cables aren't connected up, which is, will be why the light's not coming on when you turn it on. So I'm gonna flip the power off and I'm gonna try and connect them up and see, try and work out what's going on. Right, so what I've done is I connected up all the cables in there and I went on the water system, took the fuse out and there wasn't actually a fuse in there. Um, so I replaced it with the instruments because we no longer have that. And hopefully, if I switch the isolator on, that should. Who knows, though? On these old boats. Should have done the trick. Yes, the light is on. I don't know how it works. But the light is on. So now there's power getting to under here. And then I think I've just got to put that water, that thing in some water and it should be okay. I might need a pump, but yeah, all good. So that's all wired in and I'm confident that's working now. I've just got to get a pump, which will take the pull the water up out of the bottle that you put in there and up into the tap when you turn it on. So yeah, we've got to order a pump which is about 10 pound, 10, 15 pound. So that's not a problem. Um, and then this will hopefully work. So yeah, I will keep you posted. Right, so I am gonna now call it a day. Um, 
So I'll be back on day eight, which is tomorrow morning because it's bank holiday. So I'll be back and hopefully we'll get some more done, get this cabin wrapped up if we're lucky. And yeah, thank you all for watching um, this part and I will see you in the next part, which will be out next week. So thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're enjoying this series and yeah, keep up to date with the progress. Thank you very much, guys.